Hello students, it's Dr. Sansom. I want to do a quick problem for you with percent ionization. Percent ionization is something that we use for weak acids because we know that they're not completely dissociated. So we wanna to know to what extent are they dissociated. Obviously, one measure that we can use for this is the Ka, but it's a little bit indirect. So percent ionization is sort of a more direct way to answer that question, how much of this acid is actually dissociated. An example practice problem is that we're given an initial concentration of the weak acid, and we're also given the percent ionization. And then we want to find the Ka. So for example, we could have a 0.1 molar solution of a weak acid HA. And they could tell us that it's 1.23% ionized. And then ask us, what is the Ka for this acid? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a little rice table. We're going to write out the equilibrium expression for the Ka reaction, which is always our acid plus water gives us the conjugate base plus H3O plus. And we're going to put in whatever information we have. So we know that we're starting with 0.1 molar of our acid. We know we're going to lose a little bit. We're going to gain a little bit over here. And at the end, we have these equilibrium concentrations. Now the other piece of information they gave us was the percent ionization. So this is pretty straightforward. I just need to know what's 1.23% of our initial concentration. So that's 0 0.00123 molar and it turns out that's the same as our x. So now I can plug in for my equilibrium expression I'll have x squared over 0.1 minus x. I know my value of x is 0 0.00123 And I can calculate then my value of the Ka, and it's going to be 1.53 times 10 to the minus fifth. There are other questions that they might have asked us about this solution. For example, what's the pH? What's the pH of our solution if we know that it's 1.23% ionized? And we start with our 0.1 molar. Well, we're going to use our same x that we found over here. That's just the same as our concentration of H3O+. So I can take the negative log of that, and I get 2.91. That's the pH of my 1.23% ionized 0.1 molar solution. Now the last thing that they could ask us is rather than telling us the percent ionization, they might give us the pH and ask us for the percent ionization. Well, that's pretty straightforward as well because remember, our pH is just the negative log of the H3O plus concentration. So if we need our percent ionization, it's just 10 to the minus pH, which is the same as our H3O plus concentration divided by our initial concentration, and then times 100%. So in this case, I can do 10 to the minus 2.91. That gives me 0 0.00123, just like I expect. And I can multiply by 100%, and I get 1.23%, which is, again, just what I expect here, because I was given that in this problem. But those are some of the ways that we can use percent ionization to communicate about how acidic a solution is uh, for a weak acid when we know that it's not 100%
dissociated, but only partially dissociated. Typically, weak acids will have percent ionizations between 1 and 5%. Okay, that's all. Thank you.